Well, I hope this week I've decided to show my face on video while doing the weekly scopes for you all. Let's just hope that you can get to see a good visual and that the sound comes out properly. This is the weekly scope for Aries. Something family will be wrapping up for you guys this week. It's all about letting go. We just had the lunar eclipse on Friday the 18th and it's been a lot of you have been changing how you think about things, your body, your image, your brand, your identity. A lot of you have been letting go of job situations, old friendships, even relationships. It's about time or it's all about you being in the spotlight um, over the coming weeks Aries and whatever you're achieving or wrapping up is taking you on to the next level with on your journey so to speak you've had a tough time over the last couple of months and been in a little bit of a dilemma of which way to go what the Cosmo is pointing you in now it's about reworking rethinking you hit the murky retrograde on the 21st of this Monday so it's about after eclipse and think out your life it's about taking your, your life onto the next level remember the murky retrograde is about rewinding rethinking um, reviewing about what you want to do and where your life's about to go to next so after the image update with some of you having new haircuts it can be a new image to a web website a shop front it's all about change it's all about rolling your sleeves up and getting much into the the nitty-gritty of life should we put it you know your health has taken a little bit of a battering and a knock as well so over the coming weeks it's about building yourself back up again and looking at your health Mars will give the baba boom back into a lot of people's lives especially you Aries because I kind of think at the end of the day it's very much about what you're needing and what you're trying to achieve within your life path as a reader or a cosmic guider I also deal and combine astrology with cards so we'll see this week what the cards hold for Aries on your weekly scope as well as what the Cosmo hold but hang on in there kind of think that today the 19th will be a very um, significant day to you all and we'll see what happens today Saturday the 19th as to what pans out on November the 15th that's another key date for you Aries so it's all about body image revamp and taking your life forwards at the moment right for Monday the 21st fantastic card uh, you've got the lovers so this means that a lot of you now will be amped up and ready to go into new relationships it's about the passion in relationships you're having more confidence in yourself and this is about the changes that you need so can be choices but I would say that any Aries out there hot-blooded Aries it's time for you to get into those relationships so something's starting off or something's about to start off um, we're hitting a murky retrograde so we always kind of say to people be careful in that retrograde but you are at a time now where you're starting to take control for Tuesday the 22nd let's have a look what we've got we've got the King of Cups now that can mean a water sign coming into your life especially for those ladies it can mean that you've got a water sign male this is about someone offering something it could be offering a relationship coming into your life I also associate the King of Cups with a health link. It can mean hospitals, addictions, um, something again that's coming to a head with that eclipse. It might mean you're at the end of your hospital appointment. It might mean that you've got a health matter that has come to the surface of recent that you're now having to deal with or look at. Certainly with the eclipse that passed on the 18th, and I kind of think there's still more to that eclipse next month. You're looking at an outcome of a situation that feels very important. Wednesday the 23rd, we hit the Scorpio time. And there's a lot of water in your reading, dear Aries. This is a Pisces. Generally, the Queen of Cups is a Pisces or a water sign. It's a significant female. So for the guys out there, it can mean you've got a water sign or a female that's fair-haired coming into your life. It's also someone that's very helpful, very caring and very giving. So, you know, this week seems to very much be about emotions and the build-up of emotions in your life or what's coming towards you. But I certainly think that the first few days feel to me as if they've got a better warmth and a far greater understanding that was happening 
at last week or the build up to last week things should have come to a head with that eclipse it's fresh starts it's fresh beginnings for us all not quite to the 3rd of November when the new moon comes in and the solar eclipse but this is very much a good start of the week for you <coughs> Thursday the 24th fantastic card to have the nine of pentacles so this is about what Aries like to do and that's very much about making money uh, within your life this is all about finances it could be connected to home and property and real estate but it could be about offers as well but it's certainly a card of finances whatever is happening dear Aries it signifies to me that you have abundance and money coming in those offers now we're in a murky retrograde so when people say to me I've had an offer in a retrograde I try and get people to think about that offer is it what you want you don't have to de delay it to the 10th but it's signifying just to rethink and look at paperwork but certainly you've got money coming in as well as love this week when we hit Friday the 25th now the 25th doesn't seem to be as good as day as the rest of the week but it can mean a little bit of disappointment it might mean that offer that we've had the day before wasn't the money or the finances that you thought it would be it doesn't mean that something's gone but it can mean that you're slightly disappointed at that particular point as to what was offered I would kind of say to you as I've said some of these dates links link so if you've had an offer and you've been disappointed I'd certainly say wait for another offer or re-offer whether it's in that job whether it's the bonus you want maybe someone's offered you money within your job and you've been disappointed I feel there'll be another offer in November <clears throat> when we get to the weekend of the 26th 27th if I've got my sums right you've got two lovely cards this is the magician which is about work and finances or creative work or working for yourself also topped with um, the very lovely ace of pentacles and ace of pentacles is again about money and work and offers so anything new when it's combined with the magician I'm going to say there should be a work offer or maybe working for yourself that will bring in better finances so for Aries I feel as if it's love at the beginning of the week but topped off with a lot of work um, work that's going to pay off in the long run so Aries you finally seem to me like you're back on the train again have a wonderful week and I hope you'll tune in for Cathy's Cosmo next week certainly follow the link or press the button where my sessions are concerned if you would like a session or a video sent to you the charge of £9.50 per video if you want a personal scope I do phone readings and Skype readings but please press the button and check out otherwise wishing you all a wonderful week and take care